Drop it. Hello guys, welcome to my channel Unique Developer and in this video I am gonna show you how to import and run this project. In the previous video I showed you how this project works and what are the modules and in this video I am gonna show you how to set up the environment and run this project and how to download the files. So if you have watched my previous video, in that video I provided you two links. So this is the video if you have, if you have not watched it, go and check out. In this video I showed you how this project works and what are the modules. So in the description area you can find two links. First one is for project source code and second one is for database file. So download these two files. Okay, I have already downloaded these two files. Okay, this is zip file and this one is SQL file which is database. This one is database file. So I I I have already downloaded the files. So let me go to my XAMPP. So this is XAMPP inside HD docs make sure you have to keep your files means this zip file inside HD docs folder you can keep SQL files anywhere because we have to import this file into uh, database so uh, now let's extract this okay so right click extract here okay so this is a folder we got and now we have to import the database which is the unique developer.sql so we have to first make sure your XAMPP is up and running so this is my XAMPP server I have started the Apache and MySQL if you don't have the XAMPP server you have to download the XAMPP server from Google so type download XAMPP and you can download XAMPP from Apache website for 64 bit and 32 bit there are two version so suppose I download 64 bit this is one this one is for Windows and below this one is for Linux okay so download 64 bit version if you are using a 64 bit uh, these are the different version of PHP okay so download any one which you like for this one is for Windows okay so if you are using Windows download this version and after downloading install the uh, exe file and run this uh, run the XAMPP okay then you will get this interface make sure to start the Apache and MySQL services so I have started both if you go if you get any error try changing the port okay in going from config go to suppose I want to change Apache and service and port settings so you can see this is the by default port so you can if if you get any error then try changing this port okay so now let me i have to import the database file so go to localhost uh, php my admin here we have to create a database which is unique developer but you can see i have already i already have this database so i have to create another database i will change the name so unique developer and i will name it as two okay unique developer to and create now we have to import the now click on this database and click on import now we have to import so select choose file and go to the respective directory where we have keep the database file let me go to new volume f ok sorry let me go to new volume XAMPP hdocs so here is my sql file and you select it and click on and make sure the format should be sql and go it will take some times and just wait In this database, I have already inserted some data, so you can refer that. And if you want, you can add more tables if you want to customize the project. Yeah, so we got our database ready. So you can see all the tables are imported. Okay, so now let me run the project. So this one is web.login, but my project name is localhost slash 
you can see you have to type the folder name so what is the folder name unique developer so let me copy so i copied and go to browser localhost slash unique developer and click on ok so you can see i got the login page let me login the username is sunil and password is 1234 and when i click on login i got logged in but in your case you may not uh, you will get an error because you have to change the username and password okay so go to your unique developer uh, means the project in the project you have to go to validate.php open this file and here you have to change the uh, server name is localhost it's okay username here you have to insert the username and if you are using a password for database then you have to insert a comma and inside this you have to insert the password okay whatever password you are using just insert it here i currently i am i am using no password so that's why i have entered only uh, localhost and username root if you are using a password then comma and here password okay i am not using any password and here you have to enter the database name okay so database name is unique developer but i have both database unique developer and unique developer 2 so make sure to write the correct database name here and after changing this uh, you can log in to into the project but you have to change multiple files like uh, when you go to admin page so here you can see classes so these are the classes which are managed by admin so here you have to change the database name root password i don't have any password so unique developer database name and okay so you have to change accordingly and then the next file is make sure to change all the files related to database just try to run the project if you are getting any error just note down the page name and go to the respective page and change the database username and password and database name okay so that's all and if you are getting if you are getting any error let me know in the comment section i will try to resolve your error if you haven't watched my previous video go check out the video in that video i, sh I showed you how this project works what are the modules and uh, that's all and do subscribe the channel for further projects and to learn more programming related stuff so see you in the next video bye bye